here. Things that are hard to do one-handed. Tape measure. Ridiculous. Okay, time's come. I'm going to get under there. I'm going to start working on the exhaust. I need to get to the point at least where I can order the mufflers. Um, I've seen some glass packs on Amazon that were, uh, you know, two and a half in, um, two and a half out. Really, the out doesn't matter. I'm going to put whatever it takes on the end uh, outside. But I want to see if it can fit between the rail where I want to put it for the dual exhaust exiting out near the um, rear tire. And also I need to take a quick look and see how sharp the angle needs to be on the first one before I start cutting and welding and all of that. Ah, there is a tape measure under here. I'll grab that. So this one looks like, this one looks like I just have to go a pretty sharp 90. Um, as sharp as I can exiting out of there so that's what I'll work on first she's uh, you know sweating a little bit of power onto the ground those won't work so coming up this way it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of space those pipes were saying they were about three and a half inches. The muffler, I mean the glass packs, were saying they're about three and a half inches wide. Which I can kind of fit it right there. If I can get the pipe right here. I don't know where I'm going to hang them from though. It's going to have to be pretty rigid to not shake and fall off, but I guess we can hang it from the back end. It's not a very long pipe to cut in this way to where the header is. Well, I'm gonna get started on that then. This is where the header comes out, so I have to get a pretty sharp 90. I can come close to this, but it'd probably be better if I came out this way and then cut outward towards the sides of the rails. Anyways, I'm going to get a time lapse going and uh, we're going to get cracking on uh, cutting and welding and all that to try to make something that's a pretty sharp 90. what I got it's a pretty tight um, angle coming off the header but that's what we need for ground clearance still a little bit hot so I'm gonna quench it over here not too bad didn't even sizzle all right We'll get under the car and see uh, how good that looks like it's going to fit. I'm thinking it's going to be pretty good. But who knows. Right, let me get my light just in case. 
so the GoPro is going to be doing the you know the close up and the live action stuff and the time lapse. I decided to use the uh, sheep camera, so we'll see how that method works. Let me get my light, and then here's this. Uh, could have been better, but I could probably bend that pipe. This thing's just got like zero clearance. And those headers are supposedly for a Camaro, but we all know that's a lie. I mean, just look at it. All right. So. Yeah, it could have been better, but it's not super bad. I put a little custom hammer work to it. Yeah, that's better. Still could stand to bend it quite a bit more. But I don't want to kink the pipe because then it loses all its strength. I think that's probably all I should try. Just going to shoot it out like this and then start building out more from their tack welding and such. I'll have to make sure to test this and make sure it's not hitting anything, but I think I'll probably skirt past that without coming too close. All right, here's what I got so far, right? Coming off of there, I bent it up a little bit with the sledgehammer. Uh, we're coming real close to the subframe. Here I'll have to do a little bit of custom cutting and welding. And then from there, we got the right angle where we're coming along this rail. It's not really a rail, but you know, it's a cavity of some sort. And then uh, I can put me a short uh, muffler right there. And then exit out by the tire maybe or exit down maybe just shoot down would be easier um, might need a little bit shorter piece right here because this seems a little bit on the long side I might cut this one in half and then leave it at that so I have plenty of room to build a muffler um, in a turnout I really don't need that much I might have a shorter piece that I can put right here but you get the idea. We'll put this custom bend in. And uh, let me get the tape measure and see because most of those mufflers are three and a half inches diameter with a two and a half inch inlet and outlet. So that's easy enough to determine if there's going to be enough uh, space there. Once we get over here. All right, three and a half inch diameter. So you know, this is a two and a half inch pipe, so it only has to go out a half inch um, further on each side, right? If the math is mathing, as they say. So that'll be fine. It'll clear. So I'm gonna do a little tack welding right here, and then I'll bring it to the little work table whatever you want to call it and weld this stuff up before I uh, bolt it back in with you know and call it done on the uh, header side but uh, I'm gonna have to go get more parts tomorrow or this evening but at least we can have this one side ready and I can order uh, the mufflers I think I'll chop this in half if I don't have a short piece of pipe that I can steal off of something else um, but yeah, that's what it's looking like it's going to come along pretty fine here.
this baby all welded up. I'm going to uh, take a little break while the smoke clears out of the garage. Don't want to get sick from these welding things, you know. I'm going to go ahead and spray that baby down. I'll come back to this in just a moment. I'll install this side, minus hangers of course, but I'll put that jack stand under there. And then I'll start looking at the other side because I have to determine what extra parts I'm going to need. Um, if any. But that's the one section of pipe, custom pipe you know. She don't come cheap. <coughs> the guy at the local the guy at the local um, uh, muffler shop wanted to charge me 250 bucks if I supplied all the pieces, right? So he wanted me to supply him the muffler and all the pipe. He just wanted a system where he could just weld it together. And I was like, shoot, if I had that, I'd just do it myself. So here we are. Okay, I took a long break, but the sun's coming down. So I want to go ahead and get this other side at least started to figure figure out the other side but here's how it's gonna look and then i cut that piece of pipe off right here and then i have this distance to travel before i uh, cut it out to exit near the tire so i think that's long enough i'll get a measurement once i see how long a which side is shorter, that's what side I'll use for measuring uh, how much pipe I can get or how long of a muffler I can buy, I should say. So, if I take this off the jack stand, it hangs down a bit, but, you know, we'll put it on a hanger and uh, we'll uh, attach it up there, probably off of this bolt and or maybe through the frame and we'll put another attachment right here on this uh, subframe area and i think it's going to be quite stable so um time to get on the other side i got this uh old elbow which happens to be a size that seems like it's gonna work and uh sometimes you do get lucky I was checking it out and you know that's gonna be pretty pretty sweet let me get the lighting fixed for you so you can see so we can just snake this baby around the frame and then um, where it exits out this way we can start angling things and then go along just like on the other side. So I think this side's going to be a lot easier. I'm going to start dummying things up and I'll bring you back when I got something. Here's what I got. And you can probably see somebody try to jack the car up by this area, which I'll probably beat that out with the hammer before we put this exhaust in place for a final, you know, setting but we're gonna clear this little uh, body uh, um, panels here and we're gonna come this way right with the muffler so muffler will be showing a little bit same as the other side but this is basically how it's gonna be um, everything's such a tight fit under here I don't know how many inches of ground clearance we're gonna end up having it's not gonna be a lot but that's the way it was before probably could go with a little bit taller tire but i think it'll be fine we'll see there's just not much room to do anything so uh, that's what i'm gonna roll with
right, here's what we got. That pipe looks a little goofy, but I don't think it's gonna be so noticeable when the car's on the ground. So that's the uh, passenger side. The driver's side, I got a piece of wire holding it in place like where the hanger is gonna hold it. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put the front end on the ground and see how close it looks like it is to the ground. If I got four and a half inches, five inches, that's enough. Um, but if it's less than that, it's gonna be tricky. All right, I just lowered the car. I'm gonna go ahead and push up and down on the suspension to get it to settle and then we'll measure it. But I think it's gonna be all right, actually. First impressions is that it's not that low, actually. <sighs> okay. Because there's other parts of the car that are that low or lower that you just can't see them. So, there it is. The camera angle makes it look really bad, but I don't think it's that bad. So, yeah, at the lowest, it's about four and a half, five inches. And then we go up from there. It's not so bad. So right there is about four and a half, I would say. The oil pan is probably about that high. The uh, bottom of the shock mount is very low as well. I think this side's gonna be the low side, which I can maybe bend that up a little bit if I had a torch, but I don't have a torch. But uh, that's something we'll worry about some other day. Let's go around to the other side, see what we're working with. The other side seems higher to me. Maybe not. Yeah, right at about four inches. Ain't a whole lot you can do about that. Just gonna roll with it. See if it drags or if it doesn't drag. The car control is great, by the way. But we ain't gonna be hauling butt over no speed bumps. That's a fact. Just for fun, I'm gonna take one of these long glass packs that are the header, bolt onto the headers, and just see how that would look, right? Sticking, sticking out the side. I tell you, man, this GoPro, geez. I was trying to get the screen to turn on, it wouldn't turn on. See? We'll have something going on like this. But of course not that, not that bad. But I, you know, I just shoved that on there. But it's gonna extend out to the tire and uh, then it exit out like that. Hopefully it'll work. Won't drag the ground too much. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. I'll edit everything hopefully tomorrow and uh, get a video posted for you guys. Uh, I'm gonna clean up my mess in here and then I'm gonna order some uh, mufflers uh, those two and a half inch mufflers uh, inlet outlet with uh, the body of it is about three and a half inches not too not too unlike this um, of course this will be moved back further and exit out right here like this but
but uh, you get the idea. You can't really see it too much. When someone's parked, you'll be able to see it, but eh, if they want to look under there, I can look under there. If I had a pipe bender and all that stuff, you know, what I really think the problem is is that these headers aren't worth a damn, but they're the ones I got. So that's what we're gonna use. All right, well, thanks for watching. Hey, like and subscribe. My welding's not the best, my fabrication's not the best, but we are gonna get this car back on the road. And then we'll see if it's scraping every time I hit a speed bump or hit a pothole. If it doesn't, eh, I'm not gonna worry about it. I could uh, get some high temperature paint and paint those things black so they're a little less noticeable and maybe nobody will, will ever notice. Anyways, catch you on the next one.